Hey guys, it's Zach with Android Police. The Galaxy S21 Ultra was just released and you know what that means. We gotta do a making it mine video. We're currently working on our review, our comparisons, and other videos, but until then, I hope you will enjoy this one. Of course, everything is linked in the description below, so make sure you check all of it out. And so, this is the Galaxy S21 Ultra and this is how I've made it mine. All right, so starting off with the launcher, I'm using a Nova launcher this time around. And before you ask, while not perfectly, it does work with One UI gestures. It's a little finicky, but it can kind of get the job done. I'm currently using a launcher grid size of 12 by seven. I've got the dock, the status bar, and icon labels disabled. If you've seen my customization videos before, you may know that I call this the clean trifecta. Uh, the wallpaper that I'm using is from Waldrobe. It's in the dark and moody collection. I highly encourage you to go grab it straight from there. It's a great app if you haven't tried it yet and then of course i've got rain paper on top of that you guys should know how much i love rain paper even if it does sip up some extra battery the icon pack that i'm using is called gifs i wanted something extra clean for this setup and this pack fits the bill it's colorful and well put together there are currently over 2700 different icons which is great but on the flip side the pack hasn't been updated since september of last year and it's missing some key icons for apps that in my opinion should have been around during the first wave of this pack's creation like Slack, for example. This is pretty unfortunate, especially since GIFs is a little steep for an icon pack at $2, but hopefully the developer will update it soon. Anyway, getting to these widgets up top, I've got this widget from Outline for KWGT, and all I did with this one was change the font of the day portion of the widget to a lighter one. I really like this widget, and it fits what I was going for with the setup perfectly with a whole more narrow look below the icons. I ripped this search bar from an Outline for KWGT widget, and below that, I've got the phone's battery percentage. I added the current time because the main widget up top does not display the time, and I ripped this from a Sheer for KWGT widget. Another Way I make these phones mine is with skins from channel sponsor Dbrand. I've got this really slick skin that they made in collaboration with MKBHD. It's called Icons, and this is the latest colorway. I like this a lot, and you guys should definitely check out this and all of the other awesome skins they have to offer by using the very first link in the description. Now, speaking of sheer for KWGT, I've got these two widgets over on the left home screen from that pack. I've got the weather and now playing music. These are super clean, and I think the developer did an excellent job with these. They fit this setup perfectly. I set the weather widget to open up my new go-to weather application when I tap on it. This is called Flux. It's free. I highly recommend it. It looks great. It works great. I, I love it. I'm a fan. And then of course, with the music widget, I can see what's currently playing on Spotify, and I can control play pause, I can control the next and previous tracks, and I can see the song progress bar. Now on the right home screen, so far I've got this one for KWGT calendar widget. Surprise, surprise, it's actually not month calendar widget for once. Yeah, I know. And then below that, I've got three applications. That's, that's it. <laughs> now, notice how I said so far. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what else I'd like to do with this home screen. I might just leave it. I may add another widget or two, maybe some more icons. Who knows? We'll see. Let me know if you have any suggestions as to what you think I should do with this home screen. In the app drawer, there really isn't anything worth mentioning other than, as usual, keeping things organized with folders. This is pretty much a must have for me. If you have any cool app suggestions let me know i just don't want to bore you guys with a bunch of common applications that pretty much everybody else has but i will list some notable ones down below and one thing that i usually do with samsung devices is i get rid of the little edge panel over on the side just to make things look cleaner but i've decided to keep it around this time because i do know that it's useful and it's convenient for things like creating gifs multi-window presets and stuff like that another thing is the samsung good lock app now what i usually do with this is i use an extension called task changer and that allows me to get a recent apps page that looks like this, and I love it. It's one of the first things that I do on a new Samsung device. Unfortunately, as of right now, Task Changer isn't compatible with Android 11. Yes, I am heartbroken. So I guess I gotta stick with this. Yeah, but that's pretty much it for what I've got on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this setup. Let me know what other applications, widgets, icon packs, wallpapers, all that good stuff. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for those. I keep things pretty simple nowadays, so let me know if you have anything else in mind. But that's going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave it a like and subscribe to the Android Police channel if you're new. It's been Zach. I'll talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for watching.